happy bunny with my pumpkin spice latte i feel like pumpkin spice season is well and truly underway and this coffee is very much needed this morning because we actually stayed up quite late last night watching i'm ashamed to admit the second christmas film of the year but i am really starting to think about the christmas season i feel like it always sneaks up on us so quickly and there was a new christmas film that has just dropped on netflix i believe um that we wanted to give a try last night and so we stayed up quite late watching it i'm not gonna lie and you know that my bedtime is normally like half eight ten i think we stayed up till gone 11 watching this film because the second we started it i was like I need to see it to the end because it was such a good film. It's called Love at First Sight. And it's basically about um, a boy and a girl that they like meet at the airport. They're both kind of like uni student age. Um, so it did feel a little bit nostalgic to Alex and I because we both met at uni. And it always like kind of reminds us of like when we were young and like first in love. Um, and it's actually got Jamila Jamil in it who I love. I've not seen her in anything since The Good Place. I think she's just such a good actress and it was actually really nice because she played the role in it that is usually played by let's be honest old white men because it's usually supposed to be quite representative like Santa I feel like um and she kind of played that like you know the, there's always like this magic person that keeps showing up in the films and the people are kind of like do a double take like do I do I know you have I seen you before and it's usually played by a guy that kind of looks like Santa so like an old bearded white man maybe he's got a little bit of a belly um and they're always supposed to be that like magical character that kind of like helps bring bring the lovers together um and basically they bump into each other at the airport they get talking they get flirting and then when they sit down on the plane you see this in the trailer so this isn't actually ruining the plot but basically his seat belt is broken um and so they have to upgrade him to business class which is where she is sitting so they end up sat next to each other on the plane from a flight from new york to london so it's a good seven eight hours that they're sat next to each other um and then it's kind of just about like what happens after that and and how fate can really intervene to bring people together and it was such a good film i really liked it because i felt like it wasn't too christmasy like it's the kind of film that you could definitely watch throughout like other times of year and not feel like you're watching like a full-on christmas film kind of reminds me of the holiday where it's not like a full-on christmas film in my opinion like it's much more of just like a cozy festive film um but it was really really good loved the actors didn't know either of them they're two unknown actors um but it was just such a cute one and I feel like it's been such a long time since we sat down and just watched like a proper old school rom-com where there's no twists, there's no there's no plot twists or big turns or anything that you like get really cross at, like everything happens how you want it to happen and I feel like it's been such a long time since I watched a film like that and it's really got me in the Christmas mood and I do feel like I have really been in the Christmas mood because I'm already having to start to think about like Christmas parties, planning, Christmas events and I actually have a few new in things that I'm really, really excited to show you that I feel like are going to just be perfect for like the party season. And I do feel like your Christmas party wardrobe is a really, really important one to like get right. Because if you get it right, you can just bring those pieces out of your wardrobe every single year. Like you don't have to worry about like rebuying things. Like as long as you keep it really timeless, really classic and like some really good quality pieces, they will last you every single Christmas season for like a good 10, 20, 30 years. Um, so I'm actually going to be working with one of my favorite brands in this video. And I'm actually wearing a dress that I got from them a really, really long time ago. And I feel like I've had to be so patient with this dress because I bought it kind of at the end of when was like a good time to wear it. I feel like I bought it too far into summer. I got this around my birthday, which is in June. And I feel like the long sleeves and the darker colors just didn't really sit right within summer. Whereas now that we are in at the swing, of autumn and even coming into the kind of like wintry period i feel like this dress is just perfect this is a little claude pielo dress that i picked up from farfetch and i'm so excited to be working with farfetch in today's video because you know how much i adore them like honestly i spend so long just scrolling you in seeing what's dropped and i feel like when it comes to especially stock that's difficult to get your hands on farfetch always have the best stock in my opinion so let's head upstairs i've got a really really exciting unboxing to do with you guys and we can start styling some pieces up and thinking about the festive period i cannot even tell you how excited i am to unbox this with you now this is a brand that i feel like it's one of the best brands to shop at 
from Farfetch because they honestly just have like the best stock. They have so many different like colorways and options and sizes and styles and that is Jimmy Choo. Now I actually don't own anything from Jimmy Choo and maybe surprisingly this isn't actually a pair of shoes but this is a bag that I believe that Jimmy Choo released last year and it has been a bag that has literally been on my radar ever since and I feel like it is safe to say that this is the dream winter handbag. This is like the dream party handbag and I feel like this is going to be so so perfect for the Christmas season. Oh, I'm so excited to unbox her with you because I know you guys are going to love her as well. Look at the packaging. Oh, I'm so so excited about this. Oh she's just packaged so beautifully. Look at that. I don't even want to undo that. That is so, so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, as I said, I feel like Farfetch just have like the best stock when it comes to Jimmy Choo. And they had so many different colorways in there, so many different like variations. Um, okay, I need to take her out of her packaging. And that is the Jimmy Choo Bon Bon bag. How cute is this? Oh my goodness me. And I'm not gonna lie to you, there was quite a few different like variations and colours that I was kind of choosing between on Farfetch, but this I just feel like is the most classic, the most versatile and the most perfect for the Christmas period. Now one of my favourite things about this bag is the loop that it has because I don't know about you but I really struggle when it comes to like Christmas parties. I feel like it's because of my job because obviously I need to be taking like Instagram stories or like filming, I need my vlogging camera out and usually you'll always have at least one hand occupied with an drink so I often struggle with my handbags if they're like clutches or like bags that I've got to hold because I'm trying to like faff around and like get things out and take videos and things like that but this I can just put on my arm and I've got two hands free to do things and she is just beautiful so this I believe is the smallest size you can get in the bonbon bag um because I just felt like you don't really need anything too big for an evening you just need your phone for me my camera your wallet lipstick keys Maybe a little bit more makeup for touch-ups and that is all you need. But I just fell in love with the fact that she is velvet. I don't have anything in my wardrobe that is like this. And I feel like black velvet, it doesn't get much more festive than that. Um, it's also got gorgeous gold hardware, which I really, really liked. And I'm obsessed with the like, tassel chain that comes down here. I think it's just so, so beautiful. And I know quite a few girls that have these bags. And they say that they're actually so roomy because they're a bit more of like a bucket bag style. I'm loving the bucket bag style at the moment. I feel like it just really, really works. Oh my gosh, I didn't realise it actually has a crossbody handle as well that is so gorgeous i also really love that the chain it's like a gold chain but it's not like really yellow gold so i feel like this is going to go so well with like different jewelry pieces that i've had i'll be able to like mix my metals with it and i feel like it's just going to go with so so much in my wardrobe do you know what i think would be really cute to style this up with let me grab them my manolos which were actually another far-fetched purchase that I picked up around this time last year. And I wore them so, so much throughout the Christmas period. They're also velvet. And I can just totally picture these styled up with my new bonbon bag. <gasps> I'm sorry. How cute is this? that oh i just think they're gonna be so so cute together i love the green and the black start up together and the fact that they're both like this gorgeous velvet i'm absolutely in love i am absolutely in love also from jimmy chi you would have seen i picked up these recently these gorgeous sunglasses and i do feel like sunglasses are really important to update around winter time because winter sun is like no joke I don't know if it's because I've got quite light coloured eyes, I've got like greeny blue eyes and I've actually heard that the lighter your eyes are, the more sensitive you are to sun and I do feel like I'm someone that needs to wear sunglasses so much more than other people and these Jimmy Choo sunglasses I feel like are just going to be so perfect for the winter season. I definitely gravitate to like black sunglasses in winter, I don't know what it is but I just feel like big black sunglasses look so chic and what I loved about these is the like detail on the side, they've got this really gorgeous like sparkly silver detail and i feel like especially if you're going to an event that's a bit more of a day event how cute do these look together oh my goodness me i just can't get over her i just keep gushing about her but yeah love these jimmy choo sunglasses as well but you can also 
pick up at Farfetch. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little example of a very classic but ever so slightly festive outfit. Do you know, I feel like you don't have to just save this for Christmas. This would also be beautiful for like an anniversary meal if you're maybe doing anything like bridal related. I feel like this would be gorgeous for like the rehearsal dinner or like a really fancy evening for like a hen do. I am so in love with this look and love the way that the bag blends in with the look and yet is a bit more of like a statement item. I think this is just so, so beautiful. And as I said, they had other colorways if you're maybe more of a color girl. I also love they have like more of like a silver sparkly one, a gold sparkly one. I feel like there are so many to choose from and the Jimmy Choo Bon Bon bag is going nowhere. It came out last year and I feel like the hype for it has just not died down and I love it. I feel like it's so different for like a bit more of an evening bag and it's just so, so beautiful and as I said, you can literally just put it on your wrist and you have two hands free the entire evening to hug people, to dance, to drink, to eat, to take photos. I absolutely love that um, and it pairs so beautifully with the Manolos and Actually, the skirt that I've just chucked on is a skirt from Nanushka, which is another brand that I absolutely adore from Farfetch. Nanushka is one of those brands that I feel like just do so many like timeless classic pieces. And I've had this skirt in my wardrobe for maybe like two, three years, and they are still stocking it on Farfetch. So if that doesn't say how timeless and elegant and classic it is, then I don't know what does. So I will also leave this skirt link down below because I feel like it just is such a perfect skirt to style up and style down. I really, really love this for evening looks, but I'll also just wear it with like a chunky knit and do it for a bit more kind of like daytime catch. Um, but I just love the way that it's off the shoulder. You could really elevate it with some jewelry. And I just think it's such a perfect look for around Christmas. Christmas time, if you have any festive events starting up soon, save this, save this, take a screenshot because I feel like this is just one of those timeless classic outfits that will suit absolutely everyone at my new little bag. Oh, she is such a dream. I am just absolutely in love with her. Now you may or may not have noticed that I've actually been earring free today and that is because I knew that I had something else to unbox with you guys. And if you've been following along with the vlogs recently, you'll probably know that I have been loving discovering new jewelry brands at Farfetch. They have so many gorgeous brands on there. So many that I've never heard of before. So many that I never would have discovered if it wasn't for the platform. The fact that they're able to like ship things from different retailers, different kind of consignment stores is amazing. Cause it just means that you're able to shop everything all in one place. And I have been really enjoying discovering some new jewelry pieces which actually let me show you some of the ones that I have been loving and um, for example my gorgeous little Jennifer Bear earrings these power drops have gotten so many compliments every time I wear them and then my favorite pearl necklace this stunning Jennifer Bear necklace as well this is so so gorgeous I've also got my gorgeous little diamond necklace that I wear every single day they have so many stunning brands and one brand I've never actually shopped at before but have heard amazing things is Simone Rocher and the fact that they stock Simone Rocha on Farfetch is just amazing because it means that I'm able to shop there through Farfetch. I know the process when it comes to like ordering, delivery, you don't have to pay any import duties. These pieces can be shipped from like all around the world and you don't have to worry about that at all. It's all covered by Farfetch included in the cost. So I was so excited when I spotted these because I feel like these are going to be my Christmas party earrings. And I am in love oh my goodness me look at these are these not just the most beautiful pearl drop earrings that you have ever ever seen i mean look that little diamond stud there oh my word <gasps> we need to get these in my ears right now because these are just the most beautiful thing i think i've ever laid my eyes on <gasps> oh my goodness me have you ever laid your eyes on something so beautiful so timeless so classic these are the kind of earrings i feel like i would keep in my collection for literally ever i would pass down to my daughter she would pass down to her daughter and they would just stay in the family like they would be generational earrings oh my word i am absolutely in love i feel like these are going to look so 
beautiful for the party season as well i feel like they'd work really well with your hair up as well if you were to do like a little scrape back bun i feel like they really kind of like loan themselves well to being the like feature of the look and especially if you were to style up with the simona rochette necklace let's put it on because i just absolutely love it styling pearls with pearls i feel like you just can't beat a pearl they are so timeless and so classic and farfetch have so many on their website oh my word look at that is that not giving like emily gilmore vibes i am so obsessed <gasps> these are just the most beautiful earrings i think i've ever laid my eyes on so i will leave these linked down below as well because i just know you guys are going to fall in love with them and i know that so many of you are going to shop these as well so all the links will be down below in the description box good morning everyone it is the next day now and i don't really know if i can quite say morning it is 10 to 12 at the moment i need to leave in exactly 10 minutes i've had a bit of a slow start to my day started the day actually with both a gym session at the club and then i also went for just lovely a walk with lady c sometimes it's really nice just to start the day out in fresh air get a little bit of sunshine and just soak up the morning so i've been having a bit of a slow start to my morning and i'm actually heading out for lunch today i'm heading into winchester which is just one of my favorite places to go especially if you're looking for just like a lovely lunch a catch up with friends and i might end up doing a little bit of shopping afterwards um so i've just been putting on my makeup i just used the charlotte tilbury um hyaluronic acid lip balm which is like is it the hyaluronic acid lip balm something like that it's like the hydra balm or something like that um and it's supposed to be a lip balm that has hyaluronic acid in it but it doesn't quite say all it tells me the shade name which is pillow talk which let's be honest it's just the most classic shade from charlotte tilbury um and i'm not gonna lie after unboxing all of the new jewelry i am really feeling the pearls um so i've got this gorgeous pair of pearls from Yazuru, I believe is the brand, um, from Farfetch. I've got my Jennifer Bear necklace on, um, and then I've just added a little pearl bracelet along to my little chain bracelet, and I'm loving how it looks. I just realized I've not got a ring on this hand. Let's put a ring on, shall we? I think I'm just gonna do a classic diamond brilliance ring from pandora um but i'm actually heading into winchester to meet a friend today which i'm really really looking forward to i'm going to see phoebe who i've not seen in so so long so we're gonna need a lot of time to catch up to debrief to chat and i am so so excited so let me show you my outfit because as i said i literally need to leave in five minutes i'll give you a quick little outfit because my jacket is hanging there and I'm kind of, I'm kind of loving so, it today. Super quick little outfit of the day. So I've just chucked my jacket on and I love this jacket for this time of year. I feel like it's just the perfect jacket for a day like today because it's really weird temperature today. I'm not gonna lie. I left the house thinking it was freezing, put a full on coat ready for my walk and was stripping it off by the end of it. So it's not quite like a not jacket weather, but it's not like a thick jacket weather. Um, so this body warmer is perfect. It's from Karen Millen and it's one that looks nothing like it does on the website. I'm not gonna lie to you on the website. It comes to like mid thigh on her. And I know I'm a short girl, but like a whole foot difference in the length is just it's not right however i do love how it looks like i feel like it's just the perfect piece especially paired with like a jumper dress like this because it's kind of the perfect length for it um and i really love being able to have like my arms out especially if you're like driving somewhere um because obviously you can like move about a little bit more i'm <laughs> just doing this little like jig in front of the mirror um but yeah i do actually really like having my arms out so perfect jacket for that i will leave a link to down below if it's still available um i've just paired my jumper dress with my little duo boots that i brought out from the archives which i do just love i feel like with an outfit like this this is really just giving like country chic winter's just very cobbly you want to be comfortable you want to be able to walk and i know if i'm going to be doing some shopping i am not going to want to be wearing any heels or anything so these are completely flat boots from duo boots and i just absolutely love them um and then i've just paired my little longchamp bag with it which i do just absolutely adore she fits everything i need in her she's like the perfect size she's got my phone obviously my camera will go in here my keys my wallet um so so really really love her and you can just chuck her on your shoulder and then it means that you've got your arms free as you like shopping chatting talking um so yeah outfit of the day ready for a lovely catch-up lunch in winchester i will of course take you guys along with me and we might just be doing a cheeky little bit of shopping afterwards <laughs> We have not stopped talking for 
hours. I feel like Phoebe and I have just put the world to rights. It has literally been one of those days where we have just had so much to catch up on, so much to talk about that we have just been rabbiting away to each other. I haven't seen her since the engagement. She's been telling me all about her new job. It's been so, so lovely like this lunch. I feel like it's just healed my soul. It was so, so lovely to see her, but I think I'm gonna have a little wander up the high street now and just have a little look in at the shops here. I don't know if you can hear, there is a guitarist playing in the background at the moment. I feel like Winchester is like one of the places to come busking. There's always at least like one pianist, guitarist. Often there's a harmonica playing, like so many people come to busk here. It's so lovely when you're just like walking up the street and you're just being serenaded in song. And it's such a beautiful place to come shopping as well because they've got all these old buildings. It's absolutely stunning. You've got the ivy opposite me over there. So I think I'm gonna go have a little wander and a shop. So just got back from Winchester now after the loveliest afternoon. You know those days where you just chat and chat with a friend and you just put the world to rights? I feel like I needed that today. It was so, so lovely to catch up with Phoebe and also have a little wander around Winchester because it really is one of my favorite places to have a wander around. And I did actually pick up a couple of bits. So I thought I would show you what I got because I am really feeling in the autumn spirit at the moment and from the white company, of course, I had to pick up the autumn reed diffuser. I need a new reed diffuser for Alex's office. Um, I might swap the one that's in here actually and put that in his office because I want the entire house to smell of this. This is the scent that they've got out at the moment. So if ever you go into a white company store, this is the scent that they are like filling the room with and it is beautiful. So, so beautiful. Um, so it's got pear, quince and apricot. And I do feel like pear is just such an autumnal scent. That's part of the reason why the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia or English Pear and Sweet Pea perfumes are just my favorites for this time of year. So absolutely love that. It really does smell like you're kind of like walking through a pear orchard. It's just like so fresh yet cozy. I absolutely love that. So pick that up from the White Company. Um, and then at Space NK, they had something that I have never seen before. I just thought it was so, so interesting from Joe Loves. This is a bit of a, a bit of a fragrance haul um, from Winchester today. Um, but they have these fragrance paint brushes, which I just thought was so, so cool. Um, so basically it's got this tube here and in the tube is literally a paintbrush. So you can kind of paint the scent like on, I think I need to, yeah, I just need to tap it. And you can paint the scent on to your um, like neck, you can paint it onto your wrist. So maybe if you're somewhere like the gym, you can um, use this afterwards. Cause I do find whenever I'm getting ready at the club, if I've like gone for a swim or gone for a workout or anything, I hate people that have sprays, whether that's aerosol, deodorants or like spray perfumes. Cause I just feel like it's a bit antisocial to be spraying that in a changing room. Um, but I decided to pick up the scent white rose and lemon leaves and oh my gosh, 
oh it just smells absolutely gorgeous it's like floral and fruity which is exactly what i love in my scents um so i really really love that it came in that i just thought that was really cool they had loads of different scents as well um and then it also comes with a little top up um it's super super handy oh honestly i just can't stop smelling myself now that smells so incredible and i'm actually really impressed with the kind of scent payoff i just love the the floral and yet fruity notes i feel like because it's lemon leaves um rather than actual like lemon itself it's not like zingy it's more like a, just like a little bit of like a fruity tang in there but it's very it's a very fresh fruity tang and then you've got the like warmth of the florals oh i feel like joe malone literally knows what she's doing when it comes to fragrances so if you don't know joe loves is the um fragrance brand that joe malone herself actually started after she started joe malone london so two very different brands started by the same lady um so that's why they're both such beautiful and very very successful brands but i definitely think i'm going to add that into my gym bag because i feel like that's just the perfect thing to be able to give myself a little bit of a top up after i've been to the club just to give myself a beautiful fragrance and i just feel like that's such a clever idea doing a little paintbrush fragrance um so yeah it's what i picked up in winchester as i said i've had such a lovely day i really do feel like we've just put the world to rights and it's put me in the best mood so i think i'm just gonna hunker down for the rest of the evening get my makeup off get myself into a cozy so i'm going to leave this video here i really hope you enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you got to the end of this video leave me the lemon emoji down below because i feel like that's going to confuse people if they haven't watched the end of the video so either leave the word lemon down below in your comment or the lemon emoji to let me know that you got to the end of this video and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye